really hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the red room. <laughs> Everything is red. <laughs> Guys, today I'm all dressed in red, including my notebook, always red. Red has never been my color, but somehow, somehow, in this age, I feel like red is what I've been wearing most of the time. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. New subscribers, welcome to the gap. If you are returning subscribers, always thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice that you do to me on this specific channel. <laughs> what up? And I don't take you guys for granted, not even one bit. Guys, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate your support all the time. All, all the time. Now, who's on our house or in our red room today? I've got families in here. Yes, <laughs> we are going there. I've got village grandpa for the first very time in on trendy. Maja K.E. who is the son to village grandpa and I've got, uh, I've got the siblings Mayugno and his sister Dorina. Guys, people didn't actually know, like some people have never known that Dorina is a sister to Mayugno. How guys, but now you know, now you know. And we're here of course to be talking about this relationship that has caused a lot of trouble for Maja, especially in this village. Guys, a lot is going on, going on. <laughs> and there's a reason why I think Maja has never, ever, ever or stopped now shooting with Dorina for some reason. Oh, it's becoming too bright, guys. Can you see that? It's becoming so bright. Whoa, it's too bright. Yes. But anyways, oh my goodness, this is, why is it too bright? I'm here to say that I was on my live together with AM Carol, of course, the COQ squad, AM Carol, um, on trending myself, Cleo Bonnie, and of course, our very special guest, Niger daughter. And we did bring up this issue of Maja K.E. talking about his future plans with Dorina and how he wants to get her her own house <laughs> where she'll be living in there he'll be paying the rent he looks for something for her to do like a job so that she can stand on her own two feet and start paying her own bills now his reason was he's going to get this lady to a place where he can access her anytime that he feels like he wants to and that was his agenda let us okay, secret ag secret agenda guys <laughs> let us look at that clip shortly from the coq squad and then we come on here because we're here to disseminate uh, is that English, guys? Yes. This whole issue about Mayugno, Maja, Dorina. Is this love fake? Is this love for views? Is this love to get donations for specific things that we're going to be talking about in this very video? Let us go to the COQ squad, of course, guys. We'll be back to analyze everything nice. Receipts fast, like they always say. Uh, I can say my plan is like to rent a place for her so that tower so that she can uh, be free on herself uh, live uh, live a life uh, live a life on uh, his own and uh, i think she right now she has to be on her own live on her own so that when i want to meet her I can meet her any time I want, not uh, somewhere that. Oh. Any time. Okay. Any what, time. What is this boy talking about? <laughs> Sorry, what is oh, okay. wrong with this one? What's wrong with this one? <laughs> What's the problem with this kind of this this boy here? Hmm? What is he talking about, really? <laughs> what is he saying? That he wants to do what what so that you can meet what what? I should. You're doing drama. Okay. <laughs> or before we. Yeah, I can say before we get married because uh, there are some things, they are private. We need privacy, not we. She needs privacy. <laughs> what is going on? 
No, actually, guys, uh, I think this guy was searching for a wife. Okay, guys, I don't know, but um, actually, that sees uh, Maja's um, um, plans for Joanna. These are yeah. very stupid plans. If these are plans, Cleo, no, these are not plans. Anytime, anytime that he wants to sleep. No, 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 Cleo. These are not plans. This, these are the. This is the stupidest, stupidest thing that I've ever had. If you're dating someone, why would you want that this girl to leave her security? Because he's looking, he, was, he said that he was looking out for a wife. If you're looking for a wife, why can't you date this wife and let all the family members know that you are the one who's dating her and you want to, you know, and you want to, you want to marry her and then let these families help each other to get to that arrangement. Uh, it, was, it was absolutely heartbreaking, especially from this guy. And guys, yeah. I... When I was watching this video, uh, the comment section, I think someone did say that this wife is rented and he was given this wife by his own fans, you know? Finally, his own fans are the ones who chose this lady for him. And now he's talking about renting her a, whole, a house where he'll be accessing her the way he wants. Okay. Because he doesn't want to, you know, be knocking heads with the brother, with Mayugno, and also the parents. But this guy, he always talk about it. I'm looking for wife. I'm looking for wife. Then this one just, it's like this girl put in, the way we see it, it's like they just dash in the girl. Okay, take, you know, we're looking for woman. Okay, take, take, uh, take her along. Because if this girl has responsible home, this guy will not have access. So carry that girl alone because it's not her wife. Maybe someone should come out and teach this boys how things are done. Even the parents that are giving out this gun, even my good himself, even if uh, content is, is also involved, they should teach these boys how to release this content very, very well. This is how things are done. You know, he should come out and maybe do a, a, an educational content telling us when you want to marry a girl, this is how it's done. It's more interesting than these things that she's getting into. You know, this is how it's done. When you need a, a woman, she and she's with her parents, that's the best place where she can be for her security before I take her officially. All right, so that was a very interesting conversation. In case you missed it, go back to my latest live, not latest live, with the COQ squad, okay? Yes, with the COQ squad, latest live with the COQ squad. And of course, you'll see what went down. And after this, now this is when Mayugno came in, gun blazing. But before we get there, let us go back to how the whole of this Maja Dorina story began. Now, of course, we all know that Maja, in case you actually don't know, Maja's content is uh, surrounding or is around uh, relationships most of the times. <clears throat> okay? So now in this relationship uh, content that he does, he started a series for looking for a wife. And now he's been going around to different countries. He was in Uganda, he was in Nairobi, he's been to Mombasa. He's looking for wives just from where he's coming from, Nyabohanse. We saw him do this, of course, with our very own Princess Diana, <laughs> Nyabohanse Princess. <laughs> Nyabohanse Princess. And she turned him down, okay? So now Maja finally went to Tanzania, yes, uh huh. When they were going to take Mayugno to go see his parents after a couple of years. And when they were there now, this is where he spotted Dorina and he says that, wow, this lady is hardworking. She cooked ugali, like brown ugali, ugali with millet, uh huh, ground millet, guys. Yes, we've got white ugali and brown ugali. Brown ugali usually is for porridge. But you can also brown porridge to be precise but you can also use that flour to cook ugali and it's the most tough fest you need to have a skill to actually pull out an ugali from that millet flour because it's really really sticky and she made this brown ugali and fried some fish and maja ke he was sold okay he was sold he came back singing about this woman that he met 
And of course, my Yugnos Hopal, who's my Yugnos sister, and he kept talking, kept talking about how delicious that meal was. He recently had an interview with Corey the Traveler, the guy who came to Nebohanse with a drone and all these boys went crazy, everybody wanting a drone now. And he told him that I fell in love with her because she's hardworking and the best cook he's ever met in his whole entire life, okay? So now fast forward guys, this was episode 14 that he did with this lady called Dorina, who's a sister to Mayugno, in Mayugno's compound in Yabohanse, in that store that Mayugno has constructed. So this corner corner goes behind the back in the maze from the bushes and goes and does this episode 14 when Mayugno had gone to run errands without Mayugno's consent. Okay, he didn't really not really consent but without my Yugnos knowledge okay yeah that's right so when he was there he's interviewing this lady telling her the way he fell in love with her she's the best cook she's simple she's natural she doesn't have long hair she doesn't have makeup oh my lipstick huh? <laughs> and so on and so forth and you guys out of all the episodes he's done the 13 episodes so far fell in love with Dorina. She's well-spoken, she's humble, she's nice, she's, you know, everything nice, like what they call wife material, and that is what everybody saw, okay? So this guy is on here talking to her, and he's asking her, will you be my girlfriend? Will you marry me? I'm looking for a wife. Dorina's sins has been postponing these advances from this guy not giving a concrete answer they've gone for lunches they've done everything around this nyabohanse he's gone all the way to tanzania <laughs> to pick and take her for lunch but she's never given a solid answer to say that yes i take you yes she is happy like all we can say because you know majake is coming in with an angle of calmness with an angle of i love you i want you and i think that has swept her straight off her feet so now fast forward Things are getting serious. My Yugno gets to know that these people are dating and now he's concerned because this guy is his friend and all that I had my Yugno say in most of the videos is that Dorina can get married but not get married to Maja K.E. because he knows Maja K.E. loves corner cornering and be playing as that receipt. Now that happened especially when he Mayugno was talking to Maja's dad, okay, now village grandpa, and this guy was passing and he was called like, yo, come say what you want with my sister, present yourself, what is it that you want? Let me play you that clip, guys, between Mayugno, Maja KE, and village grandpa. Of course, Mwita Junior did jump in at some point and we see if this guy called Maja is really serious about Dorina because I never saw the seriousness from start. It's only the viewers, his fans that forced this relationship and he was getting views from it and he decided he'll be bringing on Dorina series after series after series on dates and everything else until what we know right now, until right now where he's captured the attention of everybody thinking that they are actually going to be getting married before. <laughs> December. Many things are going to be going on in the Bohanse guys. Villa party, Maja and Dorina wedding. So which will actually take place first. Guys, before I talk too much, clips, receipts, and then we proceed. <laughs> uh, uh, no, what are you? Uh, uh, what are you? Yeah, How do you see my Yugunos things? Yeah. Yes. I don't have my, my Yugunos. When, 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 are, when are we also getting your materials? Yes, very, very soon. soon. Very soon, very soon. Your well, materials. I'm yeah. really proud of uh, my Yugunos. Imagine. I'm really proud of you, bro. Keep it up. Yeah, keep it up. Imagine. And, uh, so, you know, Nas already buy land. You need a uh, very good to start construction, guys. So, yes. the second, the another people you follow, Mr. Maja, Maja. and that's called KE. So you prepare what to have this uh, happy no, family. No, let him tell us. Yes. Are you going to build? Are you going to buy land? Are you going to marry? Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> So Grandpa is actually asking this guy, when are you constructing? Simply because my Yugno is constructing, Nastro is constructing, of course he's now putting down the pressure on Maja wanting to know when he's going to be constructing, but what does Maja say? Hey guys, <laughs> life. <laughs> 
So guys, uh, we will start with marriage and uh, I'm going to build inside my dad's compound because that is the culture here, yes dad? Yeah, it is, but uh, you must first have a piece of land. Yes. Yes, yeah, you yes. From, uh, to show me that he eh, yes. can have a land. He 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 can have a You don't have to depend on our <laughs> parents. Buy a U.S. person. Yeah. Yeah. Then, come on. Come to the demo. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. so... Okay, I think I'm going to buy a land now. Yes. Uh, I'll buy a land, I will build, and uh, the marriage is coming very soon. Yes. Yeah, very soon. <laughs> it is coming very soon. Yeah, very very soon. soon. So the first thing we need to do, we prepare before we're going oh, to take a marriage. <laughs> you, how do you know? And you want to find out to be your shemage? Me, I don't worry. You want to find out to be your in I'm ready for Maja, we will be ready. Yeah. Yes. 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 Challenge is one. Mm. I know Maja. <laughs> He's not straight. Always. He's not straight. <laughs> no, you. You know you. Yeah. You don't know what you talk with the women. Yeah, me, I don't know. Uh, every day we talk with Dorina. You know, my sister every day calls me. I love Maja. <laughs> so now our guy Maja, you can hear they are saying that he'll be building inside dad's land. He really wants to bring this lady into his dad's compound, which is against, of course, the African culture. That's why the dad is telling him, look for your own land, start building and take your wife there. I don't understand why this little Maja, which is not even little, he's 27, I think, why he thinks that it's right for him to go just bring this lady, his woman, the woman, the woman of his dreams, into his dad's compound. And of course, you can see how dad is speaking on there, as well as my Yugno, who says that he believes that building then marrying is how things are supposed to follow. Now, guys, please tell me, village grandpa at some point and maja ke were, uh, were of the idea that ma oh guys oh am i moving you guys you almost fell down right there okay let me take you back i think there okay yes so now maja together with his dad village grandpa for the idea of get a wife build together <laughs> then you get to experience challenges together and now that constitutes or you know makes a marriage go stronger guys tell me what you think down below because according to me get yourself together maja ke is not ready he talks about, oh, me and this lady, me and Dorina are going to be wedding before December. But there are things that I need to be straightening out, you know. There's a reason why I'm hesitating not to be with Dorina right now. I don't want her to bring her to my own videos yet because she is shy and she is not comfortable in front of the camera. Whereas Mayugno came out to say that he froze Maja from collaborating with the sister <laughs> why simply because he's not comfortable he's seen that this guy is all here running around with the sister bringing up stories and that is what i want us to look at next guys when we came with that um, story right here on my life of course with the coq squad our very own Maja wanted to start a business for this lady she is a seamstress she knows how to you know put together material and come up with very beautiful designs that we're going to be seeing also in this video, but later on. But Maja says that he wants to start a business for her. Now, this lady went forth and looked for a job and got this nice tailor who is showing her what to do, how to cut material, how to assemble pieces of material and come out with very beautiful dresses, okay? And she's been there for less 
less less than a month and she's already done her first dress which was absolutely beautiful we are going to be looking at that however Major says that he wanted to look for a job for her and also rent her a house so that he can access her anytime he wants without any you know restrictions from my yugno and <laughs> her parents now guys what i did know is that my yugno has already moved into the nyabohanse house where he's building that store that is where he is yes so now his old house where the mapopo and mama sam live that is where our very own beautiful dorina is living so low now she's been left for that house so she gets up that is in tanzania then she goes to where she works every single day Maja K.E. was there first before my Yugno, okay? And that is where he went to do all these stories. And after he did this video, this is where now my Yugno came running, defending her sister, telling this guy to keep off and not do collaborations with the sister. Let us first see that clip where our guy Maja was on there <laughs> giving promises <laughs> about very many things that he's going to be supporting Dorina with in this specific shop that she is in then we come back guys discuss because today it's my yugno maja dorina and of course we'll be looking at some people on here i don't want this video to be so long but y'all receipts oh she's the one owning this shop and this machine is the one dorina hired for herself but um, the, this shop is for uh, this lady here. I think I will be helping Dorina to pay uh, to pay this house. Uh, do what he loves. I even me about fashion, and I, I also know how to mend. So I will be helping her to pay this shop. Uh, as you can see, Dorina is uh, very busy, so I want to leave her to work. Then uh, I think tomorrow again I will be seeing her, but off camera, off camera. The reason why even I did this short video with Dorina is because I want her privacy. I want this relationship to be very private and very confidential. We haven't, uh, I don't know how to tell you this. Yeah, we are not, uh, not yet ready for everything that we are planning that will, that is secret agenda I won't tell you guys but we have big plans um, and I think uh, everything is going to be good so if you are not prepared for the big the big the big thing be prepared very soon be prepared uh, will be I will be doing a very I don't know how to say a very unique wedding and a very nice one in fact i think i should start preparing my my suit my suit from now because the suit i will put on guys you don't want to do here the suit i'm going to put on on my wedding day guys hey fire Thank you so much and be blessed, be blessed abundantly because you have supported my brother Nasto to where he is. You have supported my brother Majibno to where he is, my brother-in-law. So, guys, um, I have a story for you and um, I don't know what to tell you guys, but... Uh, <clears throat> uh, I know you're wondering why I'm not doing videos with Dorina, but uh, it's just uh, we want to keep our privacy, our privacy. But when everything will be fine, I will be with Dorina all the time, all the way, doing videos, anytime, any minute, any moment. And uh, so don't get worried because um, the videos are coming and they're coming very very soon sorry for that they're coming very 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 soon so guys my question here is my question here is why is it that maja ke feels like he needs to be taking steps 
towards Dorina's future, Dorina's dream. And he says he's not really sure from how he's speaking. Is this another way of activating donations from people out here? That is question number one, probably. Let me leave you thinking about that, okay? But we see that he says that he'll be supporting Dorina to pay for her rent and also this machine that she's been renting <clears throat> from this shop as she learns the art and the craft to just come up with beautiful designs, all right? Of course, yes. So how is it now that he wants to move her closer to Nyabohanse? Guys, remember he said that he wants to be getting access easily without the restrictions of her parents or the brother. But now he's here saying that he wants to move her and start a shop for her. Whereas this lady is still under training. It's three weeks in, something like that. She's still being trained. So why is it that you want to move Dorina to Nyabohanse all the way from Tanzania border, Isibania? All the way closer to you, look for a whole new shop for her to start. Where is all this money coming from? For all this material that she's supposed to be using to start her business. Let's start from there. Where is she going to be getting, uh, what is it called? A machine. Uh huh. To start constructing for sewing, sewing, sewing. <laughs> How do you say that? How is it that you're going to be supporting her if this is not a way to activate donations? Also, not forgetting that our own brother Maja here is a designer. So what a perfect match that he saw, and I thought he now knows that he's going to be using this situation manipulate us, manipulate your feelings, guys, your emotions into now starting a shop for himself in collaboration with Dorina. Of course, using Dorina's story, Dorina's name to set up everything for him. Being a designer, <laughs> perfect match, straight from heaven. Because if he's a person or a person who wanted to help, he'd be doing that directly without coming on here. He started going doing his stories on the roadside talking about his ambitions, his dreams, his everything with Dorina, asking for advice from his fans to advise whether he should move Dorina from Isebanya border, Kenya-Tanzania border, all the way to Nyabohanse and start a new shop for her with new everything together. And you guys will sit back and tell me, oh, he didn't come on here to say that that's what he wants. He didn't mention it. Guys, we said we think 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 so will i be mistaken to think that that is actually his secret agenda <laughs> is that his secret agenda <laughs> because that is what i'm thinking like yo what a perfect match like i said she can sew she can make dresses she can use a machine to bring out beautiful pieces and he is a designer himself he also said he knows how to use these machines he can put up together something amazing so am i mistaken to say that he's using this chance and this fake love right here i don't know why you guys think this love is true like mayugno said uh-huh like mayugno said he does not trust maja he is his friend yes but he's corner cornering he knows him a hundred percent and why is it like someone did ask why is it that Maja is now no longer hanging out with the clique the Mayugnos, the Nastos and everything else it may seem that these other people are busy with their construction so that leaves Maja alone to be doing videos on the roadside in this forest, in these roads in noisy places oh, I don't know why he does his videos in very noisy places but his attention right now is on Dorina and Mayugno has banned him from using his sister to create content, no collabs, no nothing. So Mayugno, after seeing, of course, I think our video on COQ Squad and also what we discussed about Maja and also the video that Maja put up that he wanted to pull down, talking about his future endeavors with <laughs> Mayugno's sister Dorina, Mayugno ran from Nyabohanse all the way. To Isebania border to go surprise the sister. He's never been where she is working. Maja has been there before him and let us see what he went there to do and what his 
future steps are with this relationship between his sister and Maja K.E. It's getting hot, guys. <laughs> it's hotter than hot. Pepper. Pepper. Everything nice, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she say you make a close for going in the church. This is a yeah. special for church. Yeah. So guys, when you can see I introduced this uh, office because of, this is the first time I'm getting in the office. Actually, I'm happy so much. This is a surprise emotion for my sister. You make a close in this place. Yeah. Yes, guys. <laughs> you see Dorina already has changed look before you make. Yes, before it's make, guys, you can see this is a close, it's good. Yeah. It's like uh, I'm showing you myself, my, yes, myself. You are showing her yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you need English, guys. Uh, my brother's mother, he come to start a new contact with him. I, I, we, we make me happy so much to see a lot of people, you know, my sister on the YouTube. Actually, make me like, uh, before I need to see my sister, I come there, this or come a YouTuber, people say, oh, why you not open your sister channel, make sure Dorina is open your channel. Because for now, I don't say I'm giving freedom a lot to YouTuber to make a content with my sister, because it's not good. For me, I protect my YouTube channel, it's not good, you don't understand, because my sister is people, and me are people. So, what are you going to do with him content, sometimes, for me, I, I don't feel like uh, I'm a free with my sister because sometimes the only money, guys, money is challenged too much. Money is money because my sister today, sometimes he talk with me, is real. He have a, he need a dream, he need everything. So before, like you see, before I stopping, I stop my brother, mother. I don't do con collab video with my sister because. I appreciate YouTube guys because YouTube is like my mom, YouTube like my father, like my real family. So I don't say you continue. So after before before uh, every before finally he come to say is not is uh, not going to get the dream we make. So me I don't like because for now I'm stopping my brother Maja. I don't do collab with my sister because. I need to see is real, is not real because when you are now for now I stop because I need to see guys me my sister I see me like her fathers because me I take care of my sister for everything. So I need to focus to searching real story, not to focus in the real in the camera like YouTube I see before I surprise my sister. I know Maja is my friend and Dorina is my sister. Maja is my brother, my friend, so I don't say I have a the long story with Maja, no. I have a long story with my sister. Maja is my friend, I meeting like a four months, like three months ago. Like four months, yes, like a three months ago, I start to, to meet a, to come a friend with my brother Maja. So I need to see the all everything in come a good, everything is real. It's not focused in the in the camera only. You say, oh, it's good. We giving free, 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 free to giving freedom to do this. So I appreciate my channel. I don't focus for everything people say what. So me now I stopping my before you see my sister I stop to do collaboration with my brother. Me before I stop, no somebody stop me. I I talk my sister. I don't like this stop now because. It's not good to see this. I mean, I need to, I need to take, uh, to take, uh, to meet my brother, family, or oh, the whole village, like a village grandpa, village grandma, and uh, they always my family. After meeting, I know my family is going to, to take uh, the real report. All right, so now after me, you know, went to this uh, place where the sister is working, he was actually impressed by the steps that he's making and he decides to pay for her an extra or the next for the next two months. OK, so the arena fee or rent or whatever that she needs to pay when she's working and training inside that shop has already been covered up front by my yugno okay so now we are waiting on our brother maja who's still in the plans in the pipeline trying to see how he's going to be supporting dorina <laughs> in all these shenanigans on there and guys like you heard my yugno says no more collaborations don't use my sister's name huh 
in your own YouTube because of course this guy is using her for views he's got her thumbnails on there but when you go to the videos he's talked nothing about Dorina in there or we don't see Dorina in there okay so guys like I told you if you find a niche that works for you because people pushed Dorina to merger a hundred percent saying that you guys need to be wedding and he's talking about this mega beautiful huge unique <laughs> wedding by December I'm really wondering now what is going to be happening because my Yugno stepped in as a big brother and I was like yo my Yugno thank you so much for doing that because as a big brother take care of your little sister your friend is on here trying to corner corner things and now my Yugno you understand how it feels when someone is using your own blood for gain right here on social media. Let me not go back to Sam. What you did to Sam and everybody else who was supporting you on that story. Uh-huh. Saying that, ah, he's the father. Oh, he's been supporting Sam. Well, it's not on your court, guys. Like I told you, if it's not in your court, you feel nothing. But look at the way this guy is running across to the border. Of Kenya Tanzania to go save the sister from his friend now it has hit him because the sister is actually being used by Maja Ke and he doesn't like that apparently yes they are friends like he said but he says things have to come to a stop until Maja is ready to introduce himself and his intentions to my Yugno's parents and to his parents officially, not just running about right here on the social media using Dorina. And he says he's going to be starting a YouTube channel for Dorina so that she can do her own thing. But of course, he's seen how she's being used on Maja Ke's YouTube channel. The same way we were coming on here to defend Sam. Hmm? <laughs> you guys didn't like that. <laughs> That's how it works. That is how it works. So anyways, it is what it is. Thank you so much, Mayugno, for stepping up for your sister. But now you understand the issue that we brought up about Sam while you are using him for your own gain right here on social media as well. Guys, the world goes round and round. Karma or karma, whichever way you say it. This is how it comes sniffing around. So I don't know what's going to be happening with our brother Mayugno and Maja. I hope their friendship still remains, but I've not seen them together in quite a long while. And now I don't know what Maja Ke is going to be posting because he's been posting about this fake, fake, fake everything, fake love, fake marriage, fake shop, fake, I'll help you pay the rent. And Mayugno has come stepped in, put a stop to everything. All his plans, all his dreams <laughs> with Dorina, that is Maja, of course. Okay, so let's see what is going to be happening. I'm really, really, really waiting to see what's going to be happening because it is what it is. It's getting hotter than hot, like we said. And of course, guys, I don't understand why they are forcing YouTube on Dorina, and Dorina has got her mindset. You know, she just wants to do business, and they keep pushing this issue of YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Looks like she's not interested. All she wants is just to be business minded, and I applaud her for that. If YouTube comes in the future or when she's ready and is fluent because she wants also to come on here speaking English, well, let that be but stop shoving this youtube nonsense down her throat every single time she wants business she looked for a job she has the job she's training she's learning after that open her store or something like that let her do that and let her decide what she wants to do her own youtubing by herself all right good <laughs> yes <laughs> now guys let us go all the way to italy I came across a video on Gatti. Gatti is the lady who's been hosting or who hosted Dimwango the last time she was in Italy. I do believe she's not in Italy, guys. Like we were talking on um, Empire's uh, live, the COQ squad, guys. And uh, she was asking, where is this girl? She's gone missing. So apparently she began a channel, a YouTube channel, just like the way they all do. The brother, her now. If you host them, oh, they've been so good to me, guys. Show them support, show them love by subscribing to their YouTube channel. She was on here to say that this girl is very shy. She can't even face the camera. She was hiding her face. All of a sudden, she has a YouTube channel with over, I think, 200 subscribers as we speak. And she shot a video on the last day of 
her being together with Dimwango in Italy. Now, this lady introduced the boyfriend. Uh huh. Yes, the boyfriend. <laughs> Do you know where this story is going? And what I saw, really, maybe it's just me, but in my own opinion, what I saw well, didn't actually sit well with me. I want us to play that clip before we come here, continue. Guys, look at the body language. Look at how our very own Princess Diana is expressing herself in there. And then tell me if it will not make Gatti. I don't know what happened is a full name. Gatti, Gertrude, Gatti. And uh, tell me how Gatti is supposed to feel. I'll play that clip, guys. I'm not going to be here so long in this story. We need to wrap up before, of course, we talk about <laughs> Aaron Dante, who is in Kenya as we speak. He's in Nairobi, yes. So let us first check out Gatti and Dimwango and uh, Gatti's boyfriend. And then we come back, start wrapping up. Now, okay, hi, I'm a Gatti boyfriend, driver, photographer, and all she needs for do this travel. Uh, I'm also Diana Prince. Yes, guys. Very happy to do this for these two beautiful girls. Thank you, guys. Please support hi, them. Guys, They're the sweetest. <laughs> everywhere in the world <laughs> let's go thank you guys please subscribe a thousand subscribers for them let's do this yes we didn't want him to marry <laughs> yeah <laughs> and we have to come to the wedding <laughs> yes all of you yeah so stick around we go yes perfect match <laughs> Guys, am I the only one overthinking or what exactly was this kiss all about? This guy looks like he was just drawn to Dim Wango 24-7 and this girl had to jump in and mark her territory and forcefully kiss her boyfriend in front of Princess Diana's face. Does that send something like a message or am I just overthinking guys? Of course you know guys, overthinking will never kill anybody. <laughs> And I'm on here overthinking, I'm like, that kiss looked really forced. Why was this guy also just attention to Dim Wango 24-7? Uh-huh. Now you will say I'm hating. Oh, you're hating. Now let us look at the next clip. In the car. And guys, again, body language. Look at Gatti. Look at Gatti. Look at how Dim Wango is expressing herself and the sentiments she made. And then we come back here again, discuss. Of course, analyze, because that's all what we are here to do. Or the Pope, I don't know. <laughs> it's I'm for fine. the sweet thing. Okay? You know what is that? <laughs> Guess what is that? I buy for you an ice cream. <laughs> what if I know? What? What if I guess it right? Oh, uh, you know what is. <laughs> the people can't understand. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like, you'll never get bored with you. This is when I feel like, I don't have a reason to smile. Did everybody hear that? Did you hear? Did you hear that, guys? You will never get bored with him, even when I feel I have no reason to smile. He's so humorous, so blah, 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 subscribe so that you also be laughing. Who says that in front of anybody's boyfriend? Why is this message coming across like it's so personal to her? <laughs> is this your boyfriend? Absolutely not. It's not your boyfriend, Dim Wango. Why are you just now pushing the envelope? If you saw Gatti's face, Gatti was trying to take a picture of her, but her, you know, her chest is half out. She wants attention as well from the back. She's been sat there at the back with the dogs. I applaud Gatti for sitting in front with the boyfriend because what we've seen in the past is people giving out their front seats to these YouTubers and then they sit at the back because they're the center of attraction. Well done, Gatti. She's sat at the back where she's supposed to be sat, okay? And what is this? Oh, he makes me smile. I am eh, 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 blah. No. When you're sat with someone with your spouse, contain yourself. Look at what you're talking about. Gauge your mouth. You don't have to speak 24-7. You will not tell us that he makes you laugh. He's not your boyfriend. <laughs> Probably your Italiano boyfriend, Ponte, would still be making you laugh. But not this Alessandro. Leave Alessandro for Gatti. 
Maybe I'm overlooking these things, guys. Please let me know. Leave a comment down below. And of course, we said that she's been missing a while. But before even there, Gatti was uh, seeing her off. And she says that she is going back to Switzerland on the train. Guys, so our lady went, went back to Switzerland. Dimwango went back to Switzerland. All that came to her mind was, oh, Alex. Remember Alex, the guy who took her to the wow waterfalls wow oh my god i've never seen these waterfalls oh this is pretty i want to live here i think i can live in switzerland that is who came straight to my mind so she went back to switzerland but yet again fast forward in nairobi we have our very own aaron dante who just landed and he had his first tv interview <laughs> i looked at his beard and i was like what beard is this what person shaves their beard like this guys let us look at that clip and then we'll come expound probably in the next video if at all something else crops up because he says that he'll be here for six weeks. Six weeks is a long time. So does it mean that he'll be going to Nyabohanse to check out his project with Dim Wango? Does it mean that Dim Wango is also coming back to Nairobi or is she already in Nairobi? That's why she's silent because we know when she is creeping back to Nairobi, she comes back slowly, silently without leaving any trail of anybody knowing where she is. And then boom, she is in Nyabohanse village all of a sudden, you know? So I'm really trying to put all these pieces together, but they could actually make a lot of sense. So this guy comes here and now, he says he'll be here for six weeks, six weeks. I think our brother also will be back by then, if I'm not wrong, I don't know, okay? But if this guy is here for six weeks and will not, you know, step in a bohanse, then I'll absolutely be shocked. It will actually be very, very shocking because I'm waiting for him to go to Nyabohanse. He needs to see his room in Mara's villa there's a lot that is going to be coming on okay just to be precise all right thank you so much for watching i'll leave you with this clip from uh, aaron dante phillips eh? former employee of tesla i really wondered why he had to you know want to be introduced as former employee of tesla and a business partner you know with elon musk or something like that but yo it was really strange if you have your own business right now why not use that to introduce yourself with that same business? Why not DPX? Why not green something that he said? What did he say, guys? Let me see what he said. He said, uh, let me first find that out. Green Earth. Uh-huh. Yeah, Green Earth. Why not say the founder of Green Earth Inc. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> What is this former Tesla employee? <laughs> ah, it really made me wonder. And that beard of his, I was like, no. No one walks on this earth with a beard cut like that. Guys, I will leave you in good hands. I will leave you and love you. And of course, <laughs> can't wait to see you in my next video, guys. I do love you. Appreciate you if you're not subscribed and would love to subscribe always. Feel free to do so and I will definitely catch you on my next video. Bye-bye. You, 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 you are telling me that you are here on two missions. Yeah. Number one, to listen yeah. and listen to the voices on the ground. And number two, to learn. Learn lessons and of course ensure that the lessons that you have also learned in the past, you're going to leave them with the local communities. Um, how do you plan to do that? So um, just um, my company, Green Earth, I'm going to uh, build an office here, put an office here in Kenya. Um, I'm going to work with uh, the community leaders. I'm going to reach out to them on this mission. I'm going to be reaching out to people who think like me, that think green, mm -hmm. uh, and hear some of the challenges and understand what the industry is. I'm not looking here to start a business and, and take over anything. Um, you know, my, my service or what we do is we work with other companies, other recyclers, other people that are in our industry. We work with them. We team up with them. We partner with them. I want to come in here and just help you know, build, not, not, it's not this profit that I'm looking for, honestly, it's, it's more just to say, what can we do? You know, I've, I, I, we're, we're very successful in the United States. Our company's very, it's growing. I have, I have some great people. Mm -hmm. Now for me personally, this is a personal challenge. This is my DPX. This is the thing that I dream that I'm planning for that I'm going to execute. Okay. Oh, wow. This is, has nothing to do with 
financial gain or anything like that. I think that the more that I can bring my expertise, the 40 years that I've been in the environmental industries, that I've done this, you know, since, since basically high school, and bring that here, bring it to Africa, that to me is, is worth more than, than any kind of money that I can get paid for anything. Mm -hmm. So that's what I plan on doing. And your entry point to, to Africa is going to be through Green Earth? Through Green Earth and through DPX and through my dyslexia, you know, group that I work with. Um, you know, my amb I'm, in, I'm the international ambassador for dyslexia. Very well. Yeah, so. Good. Yeah. I'm sure at some point we'll also have to touch base and, to touch base and see where uh, this conversation is going and of course uh, what the future holds for you and your company and of course uh, on the issues around circular economy and sustainable energy. Can, can, can I mention my website so if anybody wants to like get any more information on like like you said circular economy or anything like that can I mention my website? That's fine. Yeah so uh, www.